Tonight, Capital Metro faces a wrongful death lawsuit. It centers on a woman visiting Austin who was hit by a train's side panel and died three days later. She was walking on East 5th Street, an area the family's lawyers calling extra hazardous. KXAN's Eugene Show is live in East Austin to show us what it's like there now. Eugene? Yeah, Robert and Sydney, this area is where Erica Finley was knocked to the ground almost two years ago. As you can see here, there aren't, si there aren't any sidewalks on either side. I just walked past a parked car. This is a parking spot. And on the other side, those are the Metro Rail train tracks. Now, because this was a busy Saturday night when this happened and cars were coming down here, the lawyer tells me Erica had no choice but to walk right next to those tracks. Just a, a really magnetic personality. I always was that way. This is Erica Finley smiling on her wedding day. I struggled a lot with, you know, why, why my daughter? Her father, Kevin Finley, tells me the 31-year-old was visiting a friend in Austin. That evening, walking down East 5th Street, her father says there was no warning sign, no horn, no bells, and not enough lighting. Having a train driving down a busy street with no protection for pedestrians it's just really inconceivable. The hit fractured Erica's skull. So this case is really about public safety. Attorney David Wenholt says he obtained city officials' emails through a public information request. He says they talk about the need for safety improvements. It appears clearly after the accident that they thought about it, they considered many options, and it doesn't appear as though any of those options uh, have been implemented. So hopefully this will bring attention to the problem and those in charge there in Austin will take appropriate steps. Capital Metro and the city say they haven't been served with a lawsuit yet. City officials say their condolences go out to the family, but the city is not liable. At this time, Austin's Public Works tells me there is not a plan to add sidewalks here, but the need for sidewalks actually goes beyond this one street in Austin. Take a look at this map. It shows all the streets where there are no sidewalks. The red shows high priority areas. Many of those are in East Austin. And even where there are sidewalks, a report from the Public Works Department says 80% of them are functionally deficient. Last year, Public, public Works spent more than $14 million to build 13 miles of new sidewalks and repair six miles. Now, since 2011, the city tells me it added a total of 142 miles of sidewalks, but that's just a fraction of what the city needs. The city's sidewalk master plan said we're missing 2,500 miles of sidewalks. Live in East Austin, Eugene Cho, KXAN News.